Well, hello there, I'm Ranger Cookie, and today I want to explain to my visitors, if any, uh, no bears coming, so thank you. And for those who want to come, remember this is a hiking trip. You got to hike to my camp. This is, you gotta, basically, you get dropped off by the end of this trail if you can't walk that far. But you start in this big trail, and I'm gonna show you the trail that you gotta walk. So, if you're not an experienced hiker or backpacker, you might wanna sit and skipping this out. I mean, but I'm gonna show you the trail that you gotta hike through. It's kind of tight in certain spots, especially with this big bag I got. But I will manage to get to my camp. And this weighs about 100 pounds, maybe less. But there's the first obstacle. But you can get through. If I can get through, I know you can get through. So this is the opposite course you got to take. This is the uh, tunnel. I'm just showing y'all folks, uh, don't forget, it's almost two months away. I, I don't know exact how many more days to the uh, Ranger Cookies meeting, meet up. So this is the trail you gotta take. So if you're not an experienced hiker, or you, you can't get away from your car because you need your car, uh, I don't think this, this Rage of Cookie meat is going to be for you. But you all been invited. I will send re-invites re to make sure y'all remember it, because some people are forgetful. <laughs> don't worry, I'm forgetful myself. So, try to remember every day. You got a thousand things to do. But I'm just going to show you this beautiful trail that you got to walk to camp to. It's a nice little trail. I cleaned it all out. So you don't have to have no worries. That's weird. Oh yeah, I forgot. You got to turn here. And I do have these little tacks. You can shine your light during the day and night. And you will see these tacks at day and night. It always comes in trees. I'm trying to keep this trail clean at all times, except for the very hot seasons where I don't come out here that much and stuff grows. So I'm trying to clean it out and keep it clean. We will have dirt with us. If you don't want dirt to be with us, just let me know and I'll keep dog at home. If you're allergic to dog or dust or whatever, but he doesn't jump on people. Unless you want him to jump on you. It's a nice little hike. I created this trail a long time ago. Because I knew somebody was going to buy that property soon. So the property I used to have the trail. I used to park the truck right there. And you walk right in the woods. But I knew that property was going to be for sale. It was on sale. And I, I kind of buried the old trail. Only use it for extreme emergencies. I will show you all that. How to get out of here within a stream emergency situation. I'll show you that when you get here. How to get out of this area fast and quick. Just in case somebody get 
bitten by a spider or a snake or a reptilian, we can get you out of here. All right, the reason why I'm keeping some of these areas closed like this, so it's called a hidden trail. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta work with the trail. See, now it's hidden. You don't even think that's a trail, and you think the, the trail goes this way, because you got a flagging, a fake flagging. It goes this, goes that way. So, for those who are interesting, once again, I invite anybody. Just give me, let me know. I'll send you my phone number. And once I send you my phone number, I'll send you a text how to get to the certain spot. And I'll meet you there. Then we'll park at my house. Or if too many people will be at my dad's house in my house. My dad lives right next door, so no big deal. And those who need their car real close, I gotta arrange that too, where you can just walk right out the trail, walk two blocks, and you're at your car. Don't worry, things can be arranged where you can get your vehicle if you need your vehicle most of the time. But you see, you can't drive back here in the woods. And basically, this is an off grid camp. So please dress accordingly. Dark clothes is appreciated. Camouflage is even better. Just to have the feel of fun of being hidden from the world. And that's basically what this is. It's just a little play run, practice run, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to do with it. This might never. Dark clothes is appreciated. If you wear all black or all green or all camo, that's that's good. D digital camo is good too. So those those colors are very appreciated if y'all do come. Now, when Bear comes up, I'm going to give him a challenge to make it to base camp through this trail. Or whoever, whoever makes it to base track, base camp with, with no aid. If you, you get aid or help you, I will, I will make a point system. And each point system, if you make it with so many hours or so many minutes, you get a bigger prize. If you take the longest, less prize. Or the smaller the prize. It's, it's a little game. It's going to be a fun challenge for Bear. So Bear, be ready. This is your trail you're going to be walking through. And that dog loves the water. And usually dog just sits around camp all day doing nothing. So you don't have to worry about him jumping all over you. Stuff like that. And I put these milk, these uh, bread crates out here. So you can walk across these little ditches I got out here. This is the... Uh... Yeah, it's high for some reason. It looks high, but it's not. And I put these bread crates out here so we can walk across ditches and the water still flows underneath. No problem. That's what I like about these uh, bread crates. So, Bear, I know you coming. And anybody else is coming, we'll be given this challenge to make it to my base camp without aid. If you do, you get a big prize and time limit. It's like a point system. There's two point systems, one for time and how many times I have to say no you're going the wrong way. Just like I did with Michelle and the grumpy guy. So remember the trail bear because this is the way you got to go to get to the base camp and anybody else who else shows up. Uh -oh. oh see one bush. One bush can mess your whole, your memory up, how to get somewhere. Because that happens all the time with me. I'm like, wait a minute, the trail don't look like this. And it's just damn trees fell down into the, into the, uh, and see these two flagons? That means you got to go through those two flagons. Some of these flagons is for that tree stuff, but you don't know what it is. You go to the two trees. Big old tree right there. I don't care how you do it. You can use your phone and, and watch the, the video how to get back here. 
I don't care. It was just a few rules I, I'm going to ask y'all for those who come out here. It's simple. Nothing major. I meant a couple of reasons why I'm doing it out here in my woods. Okay, I got 20 acres of land out here. 20 acres belongs to me out here. I did the measurement. It's 20 acres. When I go to your park, I can't cut wood to make stuff. I can't cut a tree in a park. But out here, we can cut all these trees I want. As long as it makes, make sure we still have shade at the bottom. And you can create anything you want at my camp. I'm in the process of building other camps out here in different locations. So if you want to build a camp in another location or just help me build a camp or see the camps, that's fine. We got plenty of stuff to do for those who come out here. You can fish. You can get your fishing license if you like. And other activities we can do. So we're not going to be bored at Ranger Kuki's camp. And I want to give you all some challenges at night. And challenges during the day. So. I got stuck on the branch. So we're not going to get bored. And that's all you have to do is make it to base camp. This will be the first little test. Messing with y'all brains. See if y'all are a good trail master. Man, I, I tracked three boys. Three boys out my woods one time. By the destruction they left behind. And the footprints. And it was like uh, age 11, 10, and a 13 year old. Was doing all kinds of stuff out here. Cutting some branches and trees. And I followed the footprints right off the camp. And went to their road they live on. We're not going to have no visitors out here. So don't worry about that. Might have some kids out here. But it's going to be very rare. Because once they posted that new property over there. They, they don't go over here no more. They don't know this trail. I remember one guy. Saw me go down the road. And he thought it was a, a bad guy. See these two trees. That's your marker. See this. That threw me off one time. Now back to the story. The guy got his shotgun. And he walked in the woods. And I, he already lost me. He couldn't follow my trails. See. That one little branch. That one little branch right there. Screws you up. That's the trail. So I'm going to leave it. And walk around it. Because it doesn't look like a trail no more. It looks like trail ends that's what I like about my trails see here's another little thing and makes it looks like the end of the trail this this now he took his shotgun and walked in the woods and trying to find me because he thought I was doing something evil <clears throat> he told me he lost me he couldn't follow my trail he couldn't follow me he didn't know which way I went so if you give me five minutes in this woods you're not gonna find me and I took my trail. It was a longer trail. I had, uh, there was like five ways to get here. Now it's down to like two or three. If you have a boat and you want to travel upstream and be easy to get in and out, if you have a boat with a boat motor, you, we could get it to here with that. So for those who, who has a motor boat, you can use your motor boat to get here. So, if y'all, now we have base camp, just to show you the trail, you just have to make it here, you walk in that door and you get your prize. There will be three boxes with stuff in, in it. If you make it within a certain amount of minutes and a point system, you get certain prizes. I'll have maybe six boxes, depends on how many people was coming, but you gotta let me know. Alright, I made it to Hobo. This is my Hobo camp. If it's cold, we we'll camp here. If it's or you can't take the cold, we can, you can camp here. It's got a fire, a chimney, so and a swimming pool if you want to go swimming.
I doubt that. I mean, it's clear at the bottom. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I made it to Hobo. This is the object of getting here within a certain minutes. If you get here within nine certain minutes, you get a prize. And how many times do I have to help you say, nope, that's the wrong way. That takes a point off or whatever, blah, blah, blah. The point system is going to be easy to do. Don't get lost and I won't have to find you. All right, we had a hobo. Let's talk about it. For those who come here, you have, you're gonna have running water. All right, wait a minute, this video is too long. We already know about what hobo is at and what, the, what it does. So you got a shower. For those who wanna take a shower every night or every day, you got a shower. And it runs, yes, it runs. If I can turn it on. Oops, wrong way. Something wrong with the hose. That's odd. Hmm. All right, well, we got running water out here. We just have to find out what's going on. All right, I ran your kicky. I'll see y'all next video. And base camp is not far from here. So if you can make it to base camp, you get maybe another prize. But you got to make it here. All right, see y'all later. And for those who cannot walk that far into the woods, there is a drop point. I can always drop you at this drop point and you walk this trail here. You walk the trail all the way down and you'll make a right and you'll see the trail and this goes straight to camp so if you need a drop point you don't want to walk all those woods this one's a little shorter and clearer it's like a straight trail it's old road you got rocks underneath this i wouldn't travel with my cars back here but a four-wheeler would be good but i will not travel with a car back here just thinking about getting stuck is a it's a bitch so for those who need a dry point they'll be dropped off over here there's a little trail that goes to the road and this is the kind of closest and fastest way to get back here so if, if we need a drop point I could drop you off and you just walk straight back my property starts right up here And it's all back here. This is all my property on both sides of this road. All right, so if you need a drop point for those who come and visit me, you will be dropped off here and you just walk down this trail. It's a simple method. No wigging, whining, and it's a straight path. All right, I'm Ranger Kiki. See y'all next part.